this feels very Blair Witch Project right now, but it's 4.13 in the morning. I'm actually getting a later start than what I wanted to. I woke up at 3 a.m., I'm armed with $1,000 cash, and I'm headed to what I am going to say will be one of my most profitable estate sales ever. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm not just bringing a thousand dollars cash, but this guy is cash only and he's in another state and I never know how much cash to bring. But the last time I was at one of his estate sales, I spent like two grand. So I know it's gonna be good, but I also am trying to be bougie on a budget over here. <laughs> I'm trying to get things specifically to resell so that's gonna help knowing that I have like a cap there. I'm also bringing my Ikea bag. I have a banana. I have my Bang Energy drink. Um, I'm traveling alone in Kentucky's constitutional carry, so you do the math. Um, what else do I have with me? Uh, my phone so that I can surf the internet for the three hours I'm going to wait in line. A chair to wait in line in case we have to actually physically wait in line. And a wool horse blanket. So let's travel the hour and a half it takes me to get to this estate sale in Kentucky. Somehow I managed to be the second person here, you guys, and that's really cool. So um, when I first got here, there was a guy right beside me. He is right beside me right now, probably wondering why I'm talking to this camera. Anyway, I made friends right away and asked him, hey, did you already set a chair out? He said, no, it's kind of cold. I will when more people get here. And I was like, well, I'm going to set my chair out, so let me get yours too. <laughs> so he passed me the chair through the window and I went and set both of our chairs out. The house, like even on the outside, looks so amazing. It had like these huge concrete statue like Dobermans on the porch, like it's just crazy looking. I cannot wait for this. So it's like 6 a.m. The sale doesn't start for like two and a half hours. So I'm, I'll get ticket number two. The first 30 people get to go inside first. Um, so I'm, okay, let me just tell you guys what it is that I'm trying to find. Um, these Christopher Radko Christmas ornaments. So I texted the link to this estate sale to my friend Christopher. He goes by I Buy Chit on YouTube and Instagram. And I was like, what do you think about this? Just yesterday. And he's he's actually what like definitely put the nail in the coffin that I was coming here today. He's like, girl, call me. And so I called and he's like, you have to go get all of these ornaments. Some of them are marked at like $3, I think. And they're some are worth hundreds. So guys, I have the Ikea bag. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to find that closet very, very first. I went to fill my bag with those ornaments. There is a Louis Vuitton bath towel and washcloth that is in one of the bathrooms. I definitely want that. There's a few pieces of artwork that I saw hanging on the walls that I want and then whatever else I come up with. Okay guys, here's the estate. Isn't it pretty? The sun is up. A few people are starting to stay in line over there. I might go over there and talk to them for a little bit, and I'll probably get back in the car. Now 8.28, we have our tickets. Guys, I just hope, like, I'm pretty sure that these ornaments are in a stairwell because, like, a closet. Um, the pictures uh, show like cedar lined walls so that tells me it's a closet and there's like an angle to the room so it's either a second story closet that's odd or it's a stairwell closet so I don't know I may just ask him when I walk in where's the Christmas decor or I may try to go find it I don't know um, I've been to this guy's estate sales before and he priced stuff up to me stuff that wasn't marked was no longer like the normal price that it seemed to be when other people were pricing it or even um, when he had priced it to me before he realized all the brands I was picking it's like he realized I was a reseller and suddenly a suit that was four dollars was twenty five dollars so today I dressed a, like a little homely I did I have sweatpants on and I never really leave the house in sweatpants but I did today <laughs> and I have a sweatshirt um, when it gets time I'm gonna leave my my coat here my hat and my gloves and all that I'll just leave it here because I don't want to be toting all of that around inside I don't know I might keep my gloves and just throw them in my Ikea bag I have um, my Ikea bag with me um, so whenever I go in I'm gonna have like a place to put everything because the last thing you want to do is get in there and have your arms full and you don't you can't even carry all of the good deals that you're finding so bring a bag when you go to an estate sale for sure Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna sit here for about another half hour, waste some time, maybe look at the pictures some more. It's a big house, I showed you guys the house, so who knows where exactly that stairwell is. Um, I just, like, I'm the second person in, surely I can get to these ornaments. I gotta make Christopher proud. 
definitely got excited finding this. It didn't have a price on it. The font is all wrong. It's fake as a $3 bill. So looking in the dining pantry, like the butler's closet here, this is an entire set of Noritake and honestly, it really is gorgeous. $50 for the entire set. It wasn't a bad deal, but I'm not looking to move any dishes right now. Um, on the contrast, this other set over here, holiday, yeah, I don't even know exactly what these are, but this entire set is $550. Uh, it's gonna be a big no, um, but there was just so many beautiful pieces. I just, like I say, I don't want another set of dishes to sell right now, so I left most of this. I, I did look to see if there was anything that I might want for personal, but ultimately didn't really find much in this closet. There was some crystal. Um, this is all Waterford crystal. Uh, I believe it was Waterford. Yeah, it was $500 for the lot of it. And I think the retail price was only like 40 something dollars a box. This picture was only $10. Why did I not get it? I'm not sure because the frame is gorgeous and I definitely should have got it. Um, here's the closet that all the Radco is in. I'll tell you a little story about the drama that happened in this closet later. This is the table that all the Radco is on. Um, I did my best, you guys. You will see later in the video the pieces that I got and what exactly happened. But there was a lot of Christmas still left in here that was just kind of looked over. I probably should have got more of this because like those red ornaments, why didn't I pick those up? But I didn't. Um, it's just, it's overwhelming when you're in a house where everything is such high quality. You look back later and you're like, why didn't I get this? Why didn't I get this? Because you can't buy everything in there. That's why these polo mugs were so cool. And I left those behind also. Don't be um, ashamed of me, guys. I promise the stuff I got was good. Look at this. I am not in the market to move any furniture this wardrobe and bed these are huge like 10 feet tall guys um just the furniture in this place is such outstanding antique everything's gorgeous um we bought tvs off of this guy at his estate sales for like eight dollars for flat screen tvs so sometimes the stuff is a really good price the alcohol i did learn at the last sale is for sale um really gorgeous stuff in this cabinet. I might should have got those fish dishes for me personally, but again, it's just so overwhelming when you're actually in there and everything is such beautiful, high quality. You probably couldn't lose in a house like this. None of this is sterling. Don't worry. I did look while I was getting the Christopher Radko ornaments. People were in here already picking through all of the sterling. So I did not stand a chance by the time I got down here. This is all silver plate, which there's definitely still money in some silver plate plate um I, I ran comps on some things but ended up not getting any look at the size of this picture oh my gosh it's twelve hundred dollars yeah i'm gonna leave that it is 11 23 i'm done i checked out like three times and came out into the car a lot i feel like i did pretty well i got well you guys will see i'll do a whole haul but i think i made christopher proud um but i think i got really good stuff guys like i got thousands of dollars i think in profit i mean just what's in this one box will probably sell for over 300 dollars, and i paid 30 for that so I'm gonna go eat. There's this amazing vegan place close by called Branch Out, and I just absolutely love it, and I never get to eat there, so I'm going to go eat at Branch Out. I'll go home and haul all of this stuff for you guys. And the Bronco's really not that full to have spent, what did I spend, $718. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's actually been a little while, and by a little while, I mean like a week or so since I went to the estate sale, some of the stuff that I got, I've already sold. I'm going to walk you through the things that sold, but I want to show you guys the things that I have left, the things that I kept for myself, um, the things that I've yet to list. Let's just see what I got. I'm actually filming this in the bathroom because the first thing I got was this um, Louis Vuitton bath towel. I'm not really sure guys. I haven't authenticated it yet. I think I'm going to be keeping these. This one is like hand towel size and then I got like a jumbo bath towel one. The font looked really good on it. It was $15 for the set so I went ahead and picked that up. I got six of these Tiffany champagne flutes. I'm not keeping them. I don't need a single one of them. I just have them in here for safekeeping um, versus any of my eBay inventory. You can kind of see the dot pattern up there at the top. Apparently it's called swing and it's kind of a rare pattern, but they are marked Tiffany and company at the bottom. I got six of them for $45. I was able to find one comp um, on one glass 
for $60 uh, sold recently. So I have them listed at $60, but I would definitely do $100 for a set of two. And I have these listed with free shipping. So if you want some Tiffany uh, champagne flutes, head to my eBay. Okay guys, I bought both of the dress form trees. The gold one I definitely kept. Come on, tell me how much you love this. Shout out Angie Resells for a little Christmas Miss Piggy down here. But I love this tree. This is definitely me. I sold the green one within 24 hours of listing it for $300. I got both of these wooden frames. It's like wood with, um, I don't know, kind of like a decal over it. They're made in Italy. They just looked so beautiful. And I want to say I paid $10 for both of these, but I'm keeping these. These are not for sale. Look how intricate the wood detail at the top of this frame is. I just thought they were so pretty. This bird picture is actually one of the things that I went after. It was only $8, you guys. Look how gorgeous this frame is. It's so pretty. Definitely helpful to date a frame as vintage or even antique with those like finishing nails back there. Um, this was $8. Tell me you would have got this. I bought so many of these Christopher Radko Christmas ornaments. So guys, I spent like $400, I think, on these ornaments. I did get a couple that were broken, sadly, like, I mean, four or five of them. Look at this. This one's broken. Um, I got this Radko ornament hanger. Most of the ornaments I paid, they said 10 to $15 for. If you can see this one back here, this is actually a tree topper. Now those, I got three of them. Two of them are a different style and I paid $20 for them. This one just sold for $279 plus shipping. The buyer's all in at $309. One of the most popular style of ornaments that I got was this super intricate Santa. Now there are Radko Santas and then there are what's called a portrait Santa that they're like painted scenes on the back here. Guys, these sell for over $200 and so do the portrait stockings. You want to know how I know? Because I have sold so many Radco ornaments already. These things are so fragile, but I want to go over the ones that have sold. Okay, here's the one that just sold. I'm sorry, it was $269. Buyer paid $20 shipping on it. This one is going to blow your mind because I just told you about broken ornaments and this guy, the Santa's foot is broken off, still sold it for $70 plus $9 shipping. This one sold to Atomic Redhead Mary for $19.99. Thanks so much, Mary. Christopher, I buy chit, bought two of them from me for $102.99. This portrait Santa sold for $215 plus nine dollars shipping this taxi sold for 46 dollars plus nine dollars shipping this stocking sold for 247 dollars plus nine dollars shipping another portrait santa sold for 200 dollars plus nine dollars shipping this christopher radko santa sold for 58 dollars plus ten dollars shipping and that one was actually a canceled sale you guys you can't make this up i paid 10 and 15 dollars for these ornaments 58, 200, 247, 46, 215. Within a, a week of listing them, some of them within hours. So there was this lady there who like practically raced me to the Radco. And when she got there, just very rude buyer. So she starts taking the Radco off the table and just setting it in the floor. She doesn't have a bag for it or anything. It's her and her mother. So it's more than they can personally carry. And she does not want me to get a single one. I grabbed one box of those Radco and she's like evil eye in me. And she's like, do you decorate in Christopher Radco? And I said, do you? <laughs> and she said, yes. And when I say she was taking every one guys, probably four or five Ikea bags worth. I only had one bag. I was by myself. She was able to like, literally she's just taking them off the table and setting them on the floor. And that was her way to claim them as her own. Well, I didn't argue with her about it because money just doesn't mean that much. Plus I only brought a thousand dollars with me. I ended up spending, like I say, at least $400 on those. If I had spent all my money on them, I wouldn't have been able to get anything else. But looking back now, I probably should have grabbed some more. It's probably one of the single best investments I've ever made in recently because of the insane value more than 10 times my money and they're all selling within a week or two the sell-through rate on Christopher Radko on eBay is absolutely insane I already have these listed this might strike you as like a weird thing to have picked up at that estate sale but they were five dollars for two 20 pound weights so you know I had to get those 
Guys, I added it up and just in the Radco ornaments that I've sold alone, and mind you, I still have, I don't know, 15 or so to sell, just in the Radco ornaments and the Christmas tree that I sold, so that was within a week or two of, of arriving back from the sale, I've sold $1,690.98. I only spent, what did I spend? 620, maybe $700 at this sale. So I'm already $1,000 in the profit within two weeks of coming back from the sale and I haven't even listed everything yet. We're back in the bathroom, surprise, because that is where this painting is getting hung up. I bought this painting minus the flowers for $25 at the same estate sale. Um, I will try to pop in a picture of what it looked like before. Um, and I just decided that she needed some color. So I added black all around the frame. You can see she matches the bathroom decor more now. And then I got to work and one night I painted flowers all down her back. So she's actually going to be hung up on the hot pink wall that is behind the commode now. We've been remodeling this bathroom all year and we are in the closing stages of it. Do you guys want like a little sneak peek? <laughs> these are, check out these lights. Oh my gosh, they are like the jewel of the bathroom here. And we've got um, this beautiful vanity with gold. This is actually navy, it's not black. Um, gold hardware and gold details and we did gold in the shower here this is like a ballet slipper pink and then this back wall is hot pink we've got to do a built-in cabinet right here so that's really one of our finishing details and then drew just ordered the shower doors so i'll be sure to come in and actually give you guys like a full tour of everything we did um gold hardware here as well um a loose site and acrylic frame here it's i'm just i love the way this bathroom is coming together <laughs> really beautiful stone that i got from drew's grandparents estate vintage towel you guys know how i have to do it so i'll give you the full rundown of this room as soon as we're done with it but here's your sneak peek I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the estate sale with me. There's another one coming up. I think it's this weekend. I may potentially go again. If I do, I can tell you a thousand percent. I'll be sending Christopher some more photos. Christopher, you'll be getting a link so he can help me pick out some killer deals again because I wouldn't have made a thousand dollars profit already without his tutelage. Okay. Man knows what he's talking about. And he always says, look everything up. That's probably how he knows so much about so many different areas and genres of reselling. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, treat your business like your business.